not here, just pretend we're not here. Yeah. We're going to be talking for a minute, then we're going to be quiet, and we're going to have a um, So, uh, does everybody know how she's doing this? Yeah. Anybody new? Anybody like it? Would you like it to explain? Like, just real quick fast? It makes it easier. Okay? So what we do is called Watch Me Work. Did you know? And the tricky thing is that the me, the word me, and the title, it all about me. All right? So what this is, is this is a chance for you to talk to me about your creative process. Right? Okay? So how we do that is we work for 20 minutes together. We each work on our own thing. Okay? Whatever we want. And there are going to be people online who join us every week. They're going to be working on their thing. Okay? And then when the timer goes off, we stop and we use the remaining time. We spend about 40 minutes, 40 minutes, to talk with you about your creative process. So if you have questions about where you are in your work or whatever, you can ask me and I'll answer. And maybe some answers will also be offered by the people online. Okay? It's so easy. And we just do it. We do. That's why we do it. Because it's like, and it, so break he has a script. Great he's got the book today. <laughs> Dang, man. Uh, okay, and, he said, and so if you if you're watching on the interwebs and you want to get in touch with us, Ray will tell you how. Yes. So you can tweet us at at Watch Me Work, SLP, hashtag HowlRound, or you can ask us questions on the public's Facebook, Instagram, or oh, that's it, yeah, public leaders Instagram or Facebook. Or you can ask us questions in the chat bar of the HowlRound feed. Okay. Did you spell Howl Round for me? Absolutely. H-O-W-L-R-O-U-N-D. Howl Round. Like, oh, like Howl. Like that. So it sounds like Howl Round. It does. I don't know what Howl Round is. Maybe if we can, that's a question. You can type in the Howl Round chat box. Okay. And, yes, usually I work on a typewriter, but today, I have some on my laptop. Because I have some... Something to do involves something specific. Let
the new people. Did you get something? Even if it's just like a little something. Okay. Well, yeah. Even if you didn't get anything, it doesn't matter because you've got here. That's like the main thing. And the cool thing about what we're doing, there's so many things that we're we're doing here. And some of them, you know, people go, oh yeah, I'm trying to finish my screenplay or my collection of poems or whatever, right? And like they go, yeah, I did it. Like that. But the most important thing that we're doing is we're just showing up. Because in my experience with my work, and I know everybody's different, but in my experience, that's the most important thing. And if I'm not showing up to my work, you know, then it's not going to be done. Because as good as you are, it's not going to write itself, right? Or the dance, the choreography you have to do is going to choreograph itself. The film is not going to shoot itself. It might shoot itself, but not in the way that you want it to, you know? So we just have to keep paying. We have to just keep showing up. And this is how, this Watch Me Work class, so this is how we practice doing that. If you can get your butt out of your, wherever you were before you were here, out of your Starbucks, your house, your apartment, your job, your child care situation, you know, whatever you got going on, and you can come here and sit, you have enough in you to get your work done. That's the simple math, right? Okay. We just make it fun. It's like, come, come on, hang out with us. <laughs> and then before you know it, you're like, shit, I've actually developed a muscle. I didn't know I had that muscle showing up for myself. And that's what we're developing. So now that I told you that that's what we're doing, I don't want to like, you know, ruin the magic. Because now you know how the sausage is made. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, I don't eat sausage, but you know me. Okay, so anybody have any questions, solutions, problems, answers about their work and their creative process? Anything? You're going through? Yeah, what's your name? Tabitha. Tabitha. Hey, Tabitha. Hi. So what are you doing? What's your work on? Um, I'm working on a play. Go cool. working on it for, I think, about a month now. Okay. I guess I was just wondering how much you outline before you start a piece, how right. you continue outlining. Yeah. So what, why? <laughs> why do, you, do you like outline? Look at that. So what, what do you think, Tabitha? What, what, what would you like to do? What do you want to do? I don't know. I feel like I personally, like, I love outlining everything thoroughly so that when I get to the paper, I can just, you know, right. keep going, right. keep going, right. and I don't have to go back and forth. Yeah. But then sometimes, I don't know, I can get stuck in outlining to the point where I never get to, like, dialogue or anything. You should make friends with someone like that. Because Bond, <laughs> Bond is like the other end of the spectrum. And if you guys could like become acquaintances, you could meet in the middle, which exists somewhere right there. So so your thing, you love outlining, but sometimes you, you feel like you might outline too much. Yeah. What's too much? What do you think? What do you what, what, what do you feel like? When you go, oh, I might be outlining too much. What have you what have you just done to make you feel like that? It's just, <laughs> I, like, I'll have pages and pages and pages that, like, go down to, like, even specific lines that, like, a character will say and, like, thoughts they're having. And I'm like, okay, but then why didn't I just write this in the script if it's already there, you know? So you don't want to write it, you do not want to write it in the script after you've written it in the outline? No, I think it's just a matter of, like, wanting to have... It's a type A thing. Like, I want to, like, have everything so, and it, I know it's wrong, but, like, everything so, like, defined to the point where, like, I don't have to worry about it. I don't right. know how to and you're, it. You're, and, you're, uh, and you're writing what? It's a play. <laughs> and you're writing a play? And you're trying to get everything defined so that you don't have to worry about it? A play, which is something that you're, it's supposed to be handed off to other people to do? <laughs> <laughs> Or at least other people to watch, even if you perform all the parts, right? Mm -hmm. If this is, if you are successful, which you will be in your endeavor of writing, right? You're going to be successful. You're going to complete something, and then you're going to hand it over to people who are not you, who are called actors, <laughs> right? People who, act, who, their job is to take your child and treat it very mindfully and gently and raise it up until it's a full flesh. Person, right? You can cross the street by yourself, and and now you're worried about getting it all perfect. Let it go, sister. <laughs> Let it go. Let it go. You can still be type A, but you can start to exercise just 
letting go of getting everything the way you want it, especially if you're working in theater. Okay? So, are you outlining too much? No. But I want you to write a draft. Go to draft. I think there's a point where you're, like when we research sometimes, you research and research and research, and then you're like, you start, there's a little voice that goes, you might be researching too much. Guess what? You are. Or maybe when you're out with your friends, oh, well, maybe you don't do that, but maybe, I might be out too late. Guess what? You are. You're out too late. It's time to go home, Tabitha. And that's what your script is saying. Come home. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay? So, when are you going to, have you started writing your book? I have. You have. So, and you stopped that line. I go back and forth. Stop that line. Start writing. And feel the fear of not knowing everything. Get in touch with that, like, oh shit feeling. I don't know what to do with feeling. The OG feeling. I have to depend on, I don't know, others. Right? The Spirit, the Providence, right? The Holy Mother, the God, Mother Goddess, whatever you want. You know, God, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Holy Mother, you know? Because right? that's part of what playwriting is, right? We have to. We, 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 we give our, our children to strangers. And we go, you take it, you run with it. Because I trust you. Do you know me? No. Hmm. I don't. But I get a vibe, you know? And I, 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 and you've trained for this, so let's see what you can do. Mm -hmm. and that's part of the fun. So, yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Oh, okay. Oh, she had one behind you. Oh, no, no, no. Right here. Somebody? No. Um, um, Malik. 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 That's right. Okay. Good to see you. Hey. Um, see my husband. He's, he's here. But actually, my friend. We have five minutes to see you. Oh, oh, thank you. We're in the middle of this thing. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you. It's like I'm on a marathon. Christian's like, hey, you want some water? He's like, he's going to get water on the field too. So, Malik, okay. Um, so I'm, I'm writing about stuff that I'm really fired up about and passionate about, what's right. going on now, but on right. the couch in the world of science fiction. Oh, cool. So it's not too on the nose for people. Right, right. But I do feel that I'm becoming a little bit didactic okay. even within this kind of science fiction kind of cushion. Right. Um, I'm wondering if there's any tips, and this could go for any genre, sure. um, tips for keeping yourself in line as a writer um, without becoming too didactic, right. having a didactic voice, because I don't want the audience to really feel like I'm pushing anything on them, but I want to come, I want to say something, but more simply. Right, right. So are you tying it to the, are you tying it to the characters? Are you tying what's being said to the characters' needs? Yes. Totally. Yes. Okay, so it might be one of those Star Trek episodes where, you know, you know, they say Darnock at Tanagra. You know, you yeah. You saw Darnock at Tanagra, right? So Picard is like, Darnock at Tanagra, the wall is spell. And, it, and we go, oh, we know what this means. Like, we're all one through language and metaphor, you know? It's okay. If it's coming from a real need from a character, keep writing. And when you get in rehearsal, it's a play, right? No, no, it's a, oh, it's, a uh, no. it's a it's oh, oh. one of three short films that are leading up to oh, a feature, basically. Yeah. But you're you're gonna get with actors when you, yeah. get, when you get it when you start talking about the script with the producers, right? Those are steps when you make a film or a, a TV show. The producers and now be, I think more people involved. Then you can start asking them those questions. Okay. You so should as long as what is being said is tied to the characters' needs, then you know. And there's one guy that I kind of feel like I, I am, he is just saying his thoughts okay. rather than really what he wants out of this. So okay. I feel like he is really just telling okay. us about his point of view. Okay. And that might be me coming to it. And that's, and that's so, look, so look at what he's saying and tie it to me. Like, I am telling you my, my, th uh, my thoughts because I need you to understand my point of view because if you don't, you're going to walk down the street and hit my car. So listen to me. You see, you see, or whatever, right? You know what I'm saying? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, you get it. it has to be tied to a real need. Otherwise, he's just running his mouth, and it might sound like that. Totally. 
Sure, you can research whatever. I mean, I'm writing so so many different things right now, and I pick up a book and flip through it and find something. And, but it, I, I I set myself. I'm going to read these two books and then start writing. And whatever I don't know, I'm going to have to find out on the fly like that because I wasn't. You know, I, I just jumped in. If you could just jump into your writing process, then sure you can research while you write. And you might want to set yourself a page number, a page count every day. Like, well, what, what are you writing? Is it a, a film or a? It's a theater piece. A theater piece. So what's a good page count every day? Once you, once you start writing, which might not be today, but once you start writing, what do you think? You mean per day? Uh -huh. Research? No, no, no. To write? Right. Oh. <laughs> She's like, research, I got it. Yeah, I can research I like 500 pages, man. No, no problem. Like, two, like two, right. page, like two yeah, pages? Two. Two. two is good. Two is good. Two is really, really good. Two is great. Okay? Two. So when you're writing, you're going to write two pages a day. Okay? And how long do you think this piece is going to be that you're working on? Okay. It's probably going to be about. An hour and fifteen. Great. How many pages is that? Seventy five. Seventy five. Okay. So if you write your two pages a day, then you can allow yourself all the rest of the, your writing time, your de time you data research. But you have to write your pages first. You have to eat your vegetables, vegetables first before you get your food. Okay? Right? You get before you get your dessert. Okay? So if you can if you can write your two pages, once you start writing, then you can put lots of research in. And if you don't know anything as you're writing along, just write, just write question mark, question mark. Do you write on the computer or on my hand? Okay, so question mark, question mark, question mark. Figure this out later. Keep going. I do it all the time. I got all these question marks. I go back and I put them in red because I write on the computer. And I find them. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta, I gotta look that up. Here I go. Like that. Or I holler at my husband, honey, figure out, could you look it up for me again? <laughs> okay. You know? Okay, does that help? That's great, yeah. So, Tabitha, you can give yourself a, a number of weeks that you're going to out, continue to outline. How many? Okay. Yeah, I know. Uh, I think I'll probably give myself the rest of this week. The rest of this week, great. Yeah. So, on. Um, <laughs> The rest of this week, which ends on Sunday, Saturday night, and then went to you, what do you think? I'm going to say Saturday night. Saturday night. So Sunday morning, you're going to start writing, right? One page. You can just write one page. That's all you got to do. Yeah. Declare victory. And then go on to something else. Go back to outline them if you want. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're allowed. You know? Write, write, write one page a day. How long is it going to be? Probably 110 Great, great, okay. You're going to pick up steam as you go along. Yeah. So it's not just going to be one page a day for 110 days. You're going to have one page a day, and then after a week or two, you're going to be like, oh, I'm going to write two, three, four, five pages. You're going to be more smart. Okay. Yes. Hi. I'm on Island. You're on Island. Yeah, I actually just read your book in class. Oh, which one? Uh, oh, yeah, Papa. Oh, no, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, thanks. Thanks for coming. Yeah. What are your friends? Yeah, you're from Helen. So, you're all writers? Yeah. Okay, um, I'm doing the I'm standing funny because the camera's there. So oh, I'm yeah. <laughs> I guess you could say we want to get into writing. Uh -huh. uh, I just don't know where to start, honestly. Yeah. 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 Where, anybody got any ideas where to start? Right. 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 Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. With a pencil, pencil or a pen? Pick up one. Yeah. 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 What do you think? My brain's often have writers groups. Oh, library, libraries have writers groups. You can say that three times fast. Yeah. Libraries have writers groups. Yeah. I mean, when everybody says, when are we going to, how do you start? The sound of music gets in my head. Do you know that musical? It's, at the very beginning. it's yeah. a very good place to start when you read. You begin with a. You sing. You begin with do re mi. She taught them how to sing by just saying some notes. Do re mi, do re mi. That's all she did. She taught all those kids how to sing, and they were up in 
front of people in an auditorium. It was like American Idol, but it was Mark with her nuts outside. Oh, no. <laughs> amazing, amazing. So all we do, that's right, you're right. All we do is write. All you do is write. And what you do, I don't have mine with me today. I have my phone, but you have a phone too. This is crack. Just you know. okay. This is a timer. This is a regular old school timer. Yeah, it's okay. But you can get a digital timer, like maybe you have one in the kitchen. Like, or, it, or the microwave has a timer on it or whatever, right? You set it for 10 minutes, or 15 minutes, or 20 minutes. And you just, in your notebook, you just write. You just write whatever. You don't care. Good, bad, whatever. You just start writing. Right? How did you learn to walk? Can you remember? Mm. You can't remember. I bet your mom and your dad, your auntie, your grandma does, right? Yeah, well, and you yeah. probably like crawled around a lot. I mean, this is what I did. I crawled around a lot, slobbered a lot. And then one day, and you're holding on to something. And you're doing this, right? Right? And then one day, you, and you just, you do this. And if, if we were walking like this today, we'd say, eh, I don't know, that's great walking, right? But that's what you did when you were little. And that's what you're going to do now. Mm -hmm. Not like this minute, but, but yeah. 20 minutes a day. You think you can do it? Yeah, I think so. Or 10 minutes. How about 10? Can you do 10? Definitely. Okay, great. We love it. We love the number 10. So, 10 minutes a day, right? Like, do you like, do we think you can wake up in the morning, morning person, or afternoon person, or evening person? Afternoon, for sure. Huh? Afternoon. Afternoon. Are you guys afternoon people? Oh, uh, no. You guys look, are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, geez. <laughs> Are you guys writers also? I'm a singer. You sing? Songwriting. Very mm -hmm. Yeah, very difficult. Songwriting, yeah. And you're a, what kind of writer are you? You're not yet. It's going to be really great in my fantasy. You guys are like a writing collective. Because you're already friends, right? Mm -hmm. So you got that part over with. And now you can be like a writing group. And you can meet together wherever you want. And like, turn on a timer. Or you can use your phone if you promise not to touch it. And like, write for 10 minutes and just like stream of consciousness, you know? Like, blah, 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 whatever. Okay? And if you want to write a song, blah, 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 write it for 10 minutes, then you read through it and you go, yeah, I can sing that. Look for lines that sound like you can sing it. You sing a deep play instrument? I do. What do you play? Oh, I'm still learning the piano, but... It's okay. Better. She played piano. So, so you can circle it and like say, like, I don't know when I'm going home. What would I say? You write, oh, that's it. Sing that. So then you circle that line and then you go to the piano and you just play around and find a group and sing that text over and over. Okay? And something will grow out of that. The song will grow out of that. Because when I write, I write songs on the guitar and I just move, I find a groove. And then I just like start blah 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 blah. Record what you're doing on your phone. Yep. Record, record, record it. Okay? As you're working on it. Okay, so you guys, can you have a writer's collective? Can you think of a name by like 6 o'clock? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's when we stop. Now, sure. I'm sure. I'm going to go to someone else. Can you think of a name of your writer's collective? We'll try. You'll try. <laughs> There's no try. There's only three. There's not only three. Yeah, man. Hi. Hi. My name's Robert. Hey, Robert. I'm writing a show in which two black women are having an argument uh, through song. Not the whole show, but right. part of the show. Part of the show. Um, and my question for you is, there's, there's ways we can argue when we're among family, when we're among people of color, right. and there's ways that you have to change that code switch when you're in other spaces. Right. And so I'm thinking about how the show will exist, it, how it exists here, but when it exists in an audience where it's going to be predominantly white, because that's the state of theater these days, right. how can I navigate that conversation, how true can that conversation be when it's going to be received. And I don't want it to inform the audience to certain stereotypes or those sorts of things. Those are all the things that are running through my head. Right. I just wanted to get your thoughts. I would just say, write it like you hear it. Mm -hmm. And maybe the audience will grow into an understanding. If we continue to feed the audience only what it can understand, what they can understand, then we're doing them a disservice, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. We owe it to them to tell it how we see it, and maybe then they can come up to speed, white, black, or otherwise. And just because they're predominantly white doesn't mean they're not going to understand you. Just because if they were predominantly black doesn't mean they would. Do all black yes. people understand where you're coming from? Yeah. Right. Okay, so we don't, and you can't second guess the mind of the audience because they're like, if you're lucky, thousands of people, right, who are going to see your work, and you don't know who they are. I mean, maybe you do, maybe you have a big sample, but you know, right? Yeah. right? We don't know who they are, so we have to 
right from here and let the audience, you know, during a talk back, figure it out. You know what I'm saying? But you can't try to, like, dumb it down or, you know? Does that make sense? Yeah, I just I'm worried about, because, like, there's ways you can, again, you can argue, argue in your own family, and I didn't want that to be uh, informing of how people, we always speak. Like, I didn't want to make any broad generalizations by having this one conversation be extrapolated. I understand. How, how, much, how much of it have you written? Have you written? Uh, so that, uh, so I've, written the rest of, <laughs> I've written the rest of the show. I'm going back and re-editing this conversation. Right. And, have, and you've written that part also? I, read, I wrote, I had a first draft, and I hated it, because it, <laughs> I just, it didn't land or sit the way I wanted to. Like, okay. it, again, it was, it was more of that, like, oh, we are these two sisters and fighting. Right. But I've been, I was like, I don't want it to, the, these two black women to be fighting and, and be catty and petty and right. come across that way that be the only thing they're fighting about. So I'm right. re-editing and going back right. to this draft. Maybe, to put more maybe look at the substance of what they're exactly. fighting about and the stakes of, you know, if, if you're one of the sisters, I'm one of the sisters. If you're right, what do you gain? If I'm right, what do I gain? You know, and what's important? It's not just about you use my lipstick. I mean, it might be, but, but you know what I mean. But it, what what are the stakes? What are they really arguing about? What's really going on? You know, and you can let them be real with each other. Um, yeah, and you're also aware that sometimes showing certain kinds of behaviors uh, is marketable, but not profitable. That's about yes. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't help the people. It does put some money in somebody's that's pocket that's somewhere. That's why I struggle with yes, exactly. Yeah, I, I, hear you. I hear you. So just, yeah, I mean, you know, you got to get underneath the surface and then some, okay. and then some more. Yeah. yeah. It's the same, it's like Malik's didactic question, to make sure that it's coming from a deep need mm -hmm. and they're really going after what they really want. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm kind of like both of them, like I over research, right. over outline. And all yeah. That. Oh, you're both. You're over research and over outline. Just <laughs> over, over, <laughs> over everything but writing, right? So, <laughs> over everything but writing. So, like, <laughs> so, like, so the things you were saying about, like, you know, I wrote all that like, down, like, page, you know, pages per day, have a goal. Good, great. Um, the stream of consciousness, like, the whole letting go part was really good. And I, I liked what you were talking about in terms of, like, that part of letting go, like, if you don't know something, you'll search, or you'll leave a blank for sure, red. Sure, sure. Could you just, maybe, any more tips or, just, like, dive, like, in, any deeper into, like, what that looks like in terms of, like, letting go? Yeah. You know, if I, if I sit down and do this, this, this my page count, I, right. I, I gotta, like, go. Right, 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 right. So, so, any tips? So, can you ever, like, run anywhere? And you know how to run, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm not, like, you know, like, Olympic, I mean, you could have been on the Olympics, but no, you, no. Know, <laughs> you know how to run, yeah. right? Okay, okay. So, say you're just gonna, we don't want you to do it now, but I'm gonna imagine, okay. I want you to imagine, and you're gonna start down here, right? Okay. And you're gonna run, as fast as you can to that wall. Okay. Okay, you can stop free at the wall, you're safe, right? You're gonna run. Now say that this room is filled with all kinds of people who are gonna try to say some shit to you. Okay. But, yeah, I'm running. Because your goal is down there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's what I want you to think about, like writing. Okay. Your goal is to get your page. You got your outline, so you, it's great, so you know what the story is. Okay. So on, on today, I gotta tell this part of the story. Jane is gonna go to the store and buy, uh, you know, some 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 sneakers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right. Buy some sneakers, right? Yeah. Okay. And that's the same. That's, I, that's all I gotta do. I don't give a fuck what the bitches are saying to me. No. <laughs> okay. and, or, or, the, or the meaningful people. You know, you really should do your laundry. You know, just write. Who cares? I got one page to write. Whatever your page limit is. Yeah. I'm just gonna fucking write it. When I'm done. Okay. Now I can deal with the people who are. Okay? Yeah. Just think of running. Yeah. Think of just running. You're just gonna run really fast past all those people. Okay? Those people are like the people in my head though. Yeah, yeah, oh, you know that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I know. It was not important, but no, I get it. That's but why yeah, you gotta really run. I know. That's yeah, why yeah. you gotta like, you know what I mean? You yeah. can't like, you know, I don't know how you're formed, but you know, you can't run like this. Yeah. You, know, you gotta run just like gotta, this. Okay. You gotta run with it. Shit like that. Because they want to grab on you and get in your face and get in your face. <gasps> yeah. Right, boom, there you are. Okay. 
And then in the rewriting phase, then you're going to take a look at it. Like Robert, you're going to take okay, a look okay, at it. Okay, okay, okay. Just get it down. Just get, get it, it down. It doesn't matter if it's not good. Yeah, that's the part. Yes, yeah. you know what? I know. It doesn't matter. Did I say you were going to win a race? No. <laughs> you said run to the run. I just said run. Yeah. Yeah. I just said run. Okay. Right? It doesn't matter if it's not good. Yeah, that's yeah, that's the point. Guess what? It doesn't matter. This one, yeah. I, I say so. I say so. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I promise you. Okay. Most every draft I've ever written started out as. Yeah. Not very good. Ooh. Okay. You know? And that's where you learn how to rewrite. Build those muscles. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And you learn to tolerate. Like, gee, I, I got a lot of ideas and they don't come out perfect the first time. That's right. okay. That's what I, I don't care. Practicing. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care. I'm not trying to be perfect. Right. I'm just trying to be great. Yeah. And great and perfect are not the same thing. No. Right. 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 You see? Okay. No, yeah. See, great, great makes mistakes. Yeah. And that's okay. Perfect doesn't make, make any mistakes. Perfect don't do much. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Right. It's oh, funny. Yeah. I just thought of God is great. <laughs> they don't say God is great. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure what's going to be. It's funny. Right. 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 right? You know? Sure. Okay. Yeah, thank you. And, and, come, and come back because we're, you know, we can, we sort of help each other take just one break for one more day, right? One more paragraph. Get through the, you know, get through the shit just a little bit more like that. And we're doing that for each other. We're all here. That's why we're here. That's why I'm here. That's why I come here. And I hope people come around whenever you feel like it, whenever you can. And we're going to like, you see the next question? Yeah, right. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
talk a little bit about your process of rewriting? Because I just realized that the whole like over um, outlining thing was part of my fear of like rewrites. That like I just when I go back, I don't know how to do them if I see something big that like affects something that comes later in the play. Like how you know pulling um, one thread. Sure. The whole thing sure. 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 Um, we have a joke in my house. Uh, my house, my apartment, my tiny apartment. It's a really great joke. Um, no, my husband always says, rewrites make it better. They always make it better. Because I usually get notes and I'm like, oh, I got it from you. It's like, honey, rewrites always make it better. I'm like, yeah, So I just start by circling all the shit that's not good. <laughs> or that doesn't work, you know? This dialogue, man, I don't understand this character. You know, if I'm working just by myself, right? I'll write something, let it sit for a couple of weeks, let it cool, right? And then I'll come back to it, I'll read it, preferably out loud, preferably standing up. Mm -hmm. Read it out loud, yeah, you see how it feels, right? Okay? And then you can circle as you go the stuff that isn't working. You can put some hearts in the margin, bless you, of the stuff that is working. Okay? And then you just do one thing at a time. One page at a time. Again, keep it small, keep it, you know, bite-sized. One, uh, today I'm going to work on page one. I circle page one, the prologue doesn't work. Why not? You know? What is it, do, what is it not doing? What is it doing? How might I fix it? What do I need? What does the play need? From the prologue, for example. Or that opening scene, for example. I don't really understand the characters. What are they doing? They're just kind of talking and, and getting dressed. I mean, so what? I need to know more about them. I need to know more about them. Maybe I can put some of that in. More about them. See what I'm saying? So it's, it's um, self-study. It's, it's difficult. But I think um, you can really make you a better writer if you love, learn to love rewriting. Yeah. Great question. Great question today. And we're out of time, but. <laughs> your name <laughs> over here. You came up with uh, eccentric figures. A lot of eccentric figures. Eccentric figures. Yay. 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 So our next watch we work is going to be Monday, June 10th. June 10th. All right. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Thanks, you guys.